The question everybody wants to know, is her body real or is it fake? Tune into the next episode of Tate Alone or Don't Get a Boner to find out. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's Tate Loner. Please don't get a boner. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe down below and join Loner Gang and click the bell if you want to get notified every time I post. And if you're ever turning back, welcome back Loner Gang. We're back with another video, period. Now if you didn't read the title, this is a Last Stop haul. If you're not familiar with what Last Stop is, Last Stop is a store that the one I went to was in Arundel Mills, but it's usually in you know, one of the malls that's near you. Okay, so just to clarify what Last Stop is, Last Stop is one of those stores that you'll find in the mall that they'll sell a variety of different name brand clothing lines, okay? So like Ethica, PSD, Jordan, or whoever the fuck Jordan Craig Lager is. I don't know who the fuck that is, but that's on their website too. Cookies, you know, they have a lot of different brands in their store. So without further ado, let's get into this try on haul. Okay, just a few disclaimers. One, yes, I know multiple people know about PSD and Ethica. I don't care. Um, two, I, and if you hear me call the boxers shorts, it's because I purposely bought them to be shorts around the house or shorts just in general, okay? Because I like wearing comfy shit. Let me just be realistic with this. I like being comfy. And PSD, I heard, and Ethica, I heard, are comfy. Anyway, so in all the boxers slash shorts, because I'm going to be calling them shorts, I got a size medium. Some of them just fit kind of funny. Now these ones, they're pretty good. They fit really comfy. They are comfy. They don't rise up that much. They're perfect and they're not that much see-through. They're great. Anyway, let's move on to this next thing. This next set. I just didn't want to tell y'all what it was. It's a set. <laughs> anyway, this Ethica set was pretty, you know, comfy. I just didn't like how the, um the top bra is the bra i got a large and the bottoms i got a small because my waist is pretty small so because of my waist being pretty small i have to get a smaller size that fits my waist and then also fits my butt and my thighs because a lot of clothes nowadays they only be fit in fake bodies so it may be hard for me trying to find clothes that actually fit me this is why i like shopping in the stores i like shopping at because they fit me well and i don't have to worry about it Anyway, um, so these ones, these ones were my actual favorite. I'm not gonna lie, these ones were my favorite. I'm gonna snitch on myself a little early. These were my favorites, okay? I love donuts. I don't know what it is about donuts with sprinkles. The way they look, <laughs> baby, the way the donuts with sprinkles look, <laughs> they look great. They look great appeasing. Okay, sidebar, these ones were pretty comfy. They didn't rise up a whole lot. I mean, they do rise up. Don't let, don't let me... No, don't make it seem like I'm lying to you. They rise up. They just don't rise up a whole lot. You can't twerk in them now. Eat the cake, anime. Eat the cake. <laughs> Say my lips that way. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> All right, so this one, this is one of the ones where it was just too tight. Remind you guys, I got all of these boxers slash shorts because, again, I'm calling them shorts. But no, I got all of these boxers slash shorts in a size medium. But for some reason, these ones were really tight and they were see-through. Like, I don't know. It was just really difficult. Like, I can't wear these around the house because they're see-through. Then on top of that, they're so they're so tight and they rise up. Like, how do you have the audacity to be tight and rise up? Like, where they do that at? <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's move on because these ones pissed me off. I was really upset because they was my favorite color. But these ones, oh my god. I like these ones because they were like really creative. I like how it has the big tongue with the little um acid on the front and the back. But if you look really closely, you can see that the background of these um boxers are actually the same picture all over. And it's really lit. I really like that. I really did. Anyway, but if you guys made it this far, I got two questions for, for you. One, did you subscribe to the channel yet? Because if not, what you doing? <laughs> Are you lost? Are you confused? Like, anyway, two. How y'all feeling a new intro? Comment in the comment section. Anyway, let's move on to the next boxer set. We got Hooters. 
little backstory on Hooters. I always wanted to work at Hooters mainly for the outfit, and I knew I would be able to rake up money in there because I have a nice body. I've always had a nice natural body. I've never got surgery, okay? And if somebody ever tell you that I got surgery, that bitch lying. <laughs> that bitch is lying. <laughs> Or that nigga is lying. They hating, okay? They hating. Don't listen to them. You can see it for yourself right here. It's natural, baby. Anyway, these Hooters um, boxers fit really great. Like, these were one of my favorites, too. They weren't my favorites because they weren't donuts. But, you know, they cool. They cool, I guess. But they was really comfy. They was really comfy. Not gonna lie. Anyway, let's move on to the um, second ethicus that I have. This one, I got this one because the words on there really resonate with me. I have a lot of, I tell people all the time, I'm crazy, but not a bad crazy like I'm going to, you know, fuck your shit up for no reason, but more like a good crazy. Like, we're going to have fun type crazy. Like, this is going to be some wild shit that happens. Like, you want to think we're in a fucking movie, okay? I literally be telling people my life is a good crazy like as if i'm in a fucking movie y'all would not believe half the shit that be going on in my life if i told you y'all would think i'm literally making that shit up anyway but this set was pretty comfy i got the same size in the top which was a large and i got the bottoms in the small again because you know they fit kind of funny but yeah they were see-through don't wear these outside unless you got black one under it Anyway, so Hunter Hunter, if you're not familiar with Hunter Hunter, you got to go, okay? If you're not familiar with Hunter Hunter, you got to go. Because <laughs> that's my shit. <laughs> that's one of my shows I like watching. One of my anime shows I really like watching because it's just a really good show. So I had to get the um, PSD boxes I saw that they had for Hunter Hunter, okay? It was a must. Anyway, um, as you can see, these ones aren't really see-through. But I would recommend if you do, you know, ever want to wear, wear these boxers outside as, like, shorts. I mean, I would. I'm not going to lie. I definitely would. But if you do, I would definitely recommend wearing, like, a black thong or some black shorts under. Anyway, that's Okay, you guys, that is the end of this try on haul video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below to join Lona Gang, 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 Gang. And make sure you comment your favorite outfit, well, your favorite, you know, set or your favorite boxer sets. Now, me personally, I know what my favorite was. My favorite was the one with the donuts on it because, I mean, do you see this? Like, the one with the donuts on it, like, and then plus because I, I'm kind of biased because my, my pop socket kind of, you know, has donuts on it as well. But actually, the same exact donuts. Let me turn this off for a minute. It has donuts on it as well, so, yeah. <clears throat> Oh yeah, and also you guys, make sure you click the bell for notifications if you want notifications on when I post a YouTube video or a short or anything on here, okay? I'll see you guys later with another with a video later. Bye!